Hi boys and girls, my name is Teacher Lisa and today I'm going to show you an easy home activity to do. Um, this activity will help you learn to count. So let's go over um, the, the materials that we will need to do this activity. So you will need a black marker, you will need a ruler, you will need some scissors, and a glue stick, which is optional. If you don't have a glue stick, it's okay. Also, some construction paper. If you have multiple colors, great. If you do not, that's okay, don't worry. One color is can get this project done. As well as Xerox paper, which that's what I had available. If you do not have Xerox paper, you can also just use a piece of construction paper. So the things they will be learning from this activity that you will be doing at home is their fine motors to gain strength in their fine motors, as well as hand-eye coordination and control, concentration, language from them counting, math, and sorting or classifying. So the first thing that you would do for this activity would be with the white Xerox paper, the ruler, and the marker. What you're going to do is you're going to draw lines on your paper like this. Um, I did it as the width of the ruler, so I just moved it down. The last one I had to do a double to make 10. I only went up to 10. Um, if your child knows how to count past 10, then you can get another sheet and go from 11 to 20 on the next sheet. So this one only goes up to 10. So um, you would do those lines. I did 10. Then you would write the number at the bottom all the way to 10. And then what I did to make it easier was to, I, I, if, if they can't recognize the number yet, I did the dot at the bottom. So I did one dot for one, two dots for two, three for three, four for four, and so on, all the way to 10, so that they can, it can kind of guide them on, on the activity that we're going to do. So I'm gonna show you two easy steps. Like I said, one, one is with glue and one is without. So that's why I said glue sticks are optional. If you have it at home, great. If you do not, don't worry about it. So you're, so you're going to draw those lines and write the numbers at the bottom with the dots to match the number. And with the construction paper, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a strip off of the end of the construction paper, which I measured it and it was one inch wide. And so it, it's important that you try to stick to the one inch. So this way that all the colors can fit um, when they count to 10 all the way up. So one inch wide. And then what I did was I just lined them up. As I cut them off, I lined them up. And then I just cut about like that, that's what I did. I just went across and I just went and cut, just like that, okay? So the size should end up being about this big, okay? So next, like I said, the glue is optional. So I'm going to show you the first one that I did with glue. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to glue on one square on the number one two squares on the number two, three on the three, and so on and so on. Um, I did rainbow, like I said, I had multiple colors. That's what I have available to me. If not, you can use one color and that's okay as well. You also, another option for this activity is if you do not have construction paper, you can use a marker. They can draw a square, they can draw a circle, they can draw something, an object in each one to, um, um, associate with the number here. So it ne doesn't necessarily need to be construction paper if you do not have it. You can use a marker, you can use a crayon, um, you can use buttons if you have buttons, you can use cereal, you can use anything available at your home. So there's many options that you can use. I'm just showing you one that I came up with. So this is the glue option and this is the non-glue option. So um, with this one, it could be used over multiple times. You would do, you could just have them place the, the, the square on it, place the object that you have at home. Like I said, the cereal, the buttons, something you can reuse over and over again. So an activity that they can keep using and using if you do not use the glue. 
So this is all something that they can keep continuing to use. So this is without the glue. So if you don't have paper at home, you can use something else. But so option one is with the glue. Option two is without the glue. You don't have to use a construction paper. Like I said, there's many objects that you can use at home. Um, they can draw it, which will make it more fun. They can draw five suns. They can draw two flowers. They can draw four hearts, you know, just to make it more interesting for them. Um, so yes, again, like I said, they will be learning to count on this activity. Um, working with their fine motors, their hand-eye coordination, concentration, language and development, which, which would be counting, math, and sorting and classifying. So, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this home activity, and I hope you, hope you have fun learning. Thank you. Thank you.